forget cheap frills and tacky costumes. This Halloween, play dress up in a mask inspired by chic designs fresh off the runway. Today we are making masks based on spring runway looks and I'm really excited because a lot of them are really cool and I feel like it's gonna be very easy to look like a Halloween costume. <laughs> I mean, personally, I love taking inspiration from any sort of runway. So making masks based off of what's seen on the runway was definitely a cool idea. <laughs> so this is my floral death mask. Hence the tons and tons of flowers. It's also a Palm Spring bathing suit cap. Works really well, too. <laughs> I definitely think it is a fashionable statement for Halloween this year. It's a <laughs> and the mask that I made today is sort of edgy and girly, which totally describes my style. It uses a lot of leather and lace and flowers. The 2013 Catwoman. <laughs> so with this mask and a super tight black bodysuit and some super high heels, you would have a sexy Catwoman costume. This is my mask. It is awesome with tons of feathers yeah, and yeah. a little bit of sparkle because so. sparkle makes everything better. It's very like McQueen, wouldn't you say? I'm going to wear this mask with my costume, Channing and Feathers. She's a character. She runs around New York like Batgirl, but with feathers. Well, I'm a magpie to sparkle, so I really love glitter, crystals, all of that. I went a little crazy with the jewels. I tried to make a pattern sort of similar to the runway looks. We actually did kind of a metal net first, and then we covered it with jewels. I love it. It's a little heavy, but it looks amazing. Kind of Lady Gaga inspired. <laughs> Maybe some kind of like bustier top big pants. Maybe I could even pull off suspenders and do something crazy. <laughs> I think masks are amazing for Halloween costumes and actually pretty simple to like translate to real life because you can just put your mask on in normal clothes. I want to wear this all the time. <laughs>